Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sobit and I will be talking to you regarding how to approach and crack NEET PG 2025 in 30 days. See, there are three categories of students out there like who have done multiple revisions, who have done single revision and the ones who have just started. So today I will be talking about the students who have just started. So how to approach, how to start what to read and how to read self training and exam day i will be talking on these points and uh, these all the things will help you in uh, need pg 2025 if you are starting now or you have started a few days back so how to start see first your aim is if you are starting now you can't get a top score or top rank so to qualify or to get a decent score you are about to study now now for qualification also or to get a decent score all the subjects all the 19 subjects are important so how to cover them in 30 days this is only answer is grand test you have to give grand test without that that will not happen now first self training i will tell you uh, this is about the exam timings see right now till now there are two shifts shift 1 and shift 2 this is from 9 am to 12 30 pm and uh, 3 30 pm to 7 pm why the exam timings are important because you have to be there around for around five to six hours sitting because the exam timings you have to go inside two hours before around uh, your reporting time time is around two hours and uh, till the end of the exam it will happen for five to six hours you have to be there on the center now the thing is 200 questions in 210 minutes so time is not an issue because questions will be lengthy clinical all the things will be there so time is okay now how the exam is divided exam is divided in part part a that is the pre-clinical one total questions expected are around 45 questions part b there will be paraclinical that total questions will be 65 and part c the clinical part the most uh, total questions will be the 90 questions now what is important in this this all these things what i told you you all know but what is important is focus so focus should equal should be equal for all the sections see you will be very very attentive and on question one on section a and as the time passes uh, you will if you are not habitual of sitting for this long in front of a system and solving the questions you will get bored and your uh, you will not be that much focused so this is important you have to train yourself in such a way like if when you are attempting a grand test daily so same focus should be on question one and same on question number 200 then only you will be able to answer them correctly and understand them what will happen if section c has some uh, uh, easy question but your focus is lost you are uh, not properly uh, focused or oriented and you are getting bored then that easy question also many uh, much chances are there that you will uh, mark it wrong or you will not understand the concept behind it even if you have studied that so this this part you have to keep in mind and you have to be uh, focused so for that you can uh, like you have to adapt meditation also that will also help you in doing this now how to read so you have to train yourself according to the shift timings that what i told now the important thing you have to be the most active at that day or that time of the day when your exam is i told you the shifts when you will get the shifts but you have to be most active and uh, focused at that time of the day when your exam timings are now try to solve grand test in that timing so your uh, daily if you will do that you uh, one habit will be there like if you are developing a new habit it will develop in 21 days 
So if you are solving grand test in that same timings for 21 days, your habit will de develop and uh, while uh, that time of that uh, on the exam day, that time you will be able to focus on the questions more. Now you have to review that grand test in that same day. <clears throat> that is also very important. That is around 200 questions you have to solve in that 3 hours 30 minutes and remaining time of of your day like how much you are studying you have to review that then only what i'm telling you that you will get a decent score or you will qualify so before starting any new grand test you have to review that grand test now how to review that that is also very important after finishing your grand test only take uh, 30 minutes to one hour uh, refreshment gap and then again you review and you have to read it very nicely and more focused and how to like take any institute grand test i used marrow for my preparation but what are the advantages of that grand test see if you want a decent score and you want to attempt more questions so all the subjects are needed to be covered in 30 days no chance that you can read the notes or you can watch all the videos which are available on uh, various platforms so this is the only way you can cover all the subjects like a basic idea so that if that topic is asked you can attempt it now the most important uh, because grand test what it contains only the most important topics so you you will not be reading anything which is less important this is the benefit of the grand test now how to review the things and how to review a grand test you have to read the explanation properly and if you see any flash card pearls or any important table charts that match of the following many type of questions are there so <clears throat> you have to take pictures do not make notes the time is not there in 30 days if you are sitting and making notes it will waste your time use your phone or if you can take a screenshot take a screenshot and take pictures of the important tables and explanations what are giving in the what are given in that grand test now this you have to do till day 21 see till 21 days if you will do one thing that habit will be there you have to develop a head habit plus if you will uh, follow this religiously for 21 days you will be solving around 21 grand test or uh, 20 grand test you assume that is around 4000 questions uh, 4000 questions are a great number and uh, if you will if you are able to solve these much of questions and in front of your eyes like 30 days before also you will get one idea you, you can solve that topic question if that appears in that exam so that is very important now time is not 12 hours or in a day only 6 hours you give to sleep try to give 15 to 16 hours a day this is very important because re reviewing a grand test in a day properly it takes time if you if you will read you will get exhausted also so you need time to solve all these things around 15 to 16 hours you have to give if you are studying only for a month so the target should be you have to give one grand test in a day and review it on the same day with that pictures what you have taken in your phone what i have told you in the important tables and important points now why only 21 days why not for all the days because revision is very important what you have clicked what pictures you have clicked what that revision you have to do in nine days what pictures what charts tables pulse flashcards whatever you say what you have saved in your phone in a folder you have to maintain it and in nine days only revise that part nothing else no mock test no grand test nothing you have to do only revise 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 if you will revise for nine days those flashcards and all the things nothing else that is very important and you will see the difference and while solving the questions in the exam you will see the difference and you will tell me in the comments later 
so this is very important so but this part is very important you have to be the most active on exam timings during the day like you should solve your grand test on on the exam timings see for if example if the exam is from 3 to 7 you have to be very very active on that part of the day never sleep in that part of the day that is very important now exam day sitting habit if you power five to six hours continuous because you have to sit there in front of the system before the exam starts it will take around one hour the entry is uh, entry everything you will be anxious and everyone will be anxious around you so you have to sit there wait for the exam to start so all this takes time so you will get tired so if your sitting habit will be there for five to six hours try not to get tired while solving the exam or before the exam so sitting habit for five to six hours is very important this plays a major role on on your exam day and this can uh, cause an impact on your scoring also so exam day is also very important now starting time of the exam and entries what i told you this plays a very important role and this is uh, this should be in your mind now all the best i have tried to cover all the points this is how you can uh, uh, follow these steps and uh, read accordingly in 30 days and uh, you can qualify at least qualify or get a decent score uh, so if possible you can get a, a good college in a deemed deemed college uh, your dream seat so comments if you have any doubts thank you